I like to see the idea of an attribute or a gift being passed on from one generation to the next. Hi, my name is Andrew Castro, and I'm the co-pastor here at Kappa City Church in Madison, Wisconsin. And on August 20th, our area and the surrounding county experienced over 10 inches of rain. I couldn't even make it about a half a mile away to my apartment. So I found myself here at the building and I went down into our basement and found two and a half inches of rain. I took some pictures and I posted it to my Facebook page, put my phone in my pocket and began to shop back up water. As I was sucking up the water, my phone was going off the hook. There were people asking how they could pray, if I needed any help. But there was one comment in particular that really struck me and it kept ringing in my head all night long as I sat there sucking up water. And it was this, I remember when I used to suck up water. And it wasn't just that comment alone, but it was the replies afterwards saying, yep, I remember when I used to do that. Yep, I remember when I used to do that. As dad came, he helped me suck up more water and we got most of it up and, and got it dried out, put some fans out, but those comments just kept on ringing in my ear. And I turned to dad and I said, man, it's time for us to change the legacy of Capital City Church. But we don't need to be a church that's known for gaining water every time it rains. No, it's time for us to be known as a church where our kids' ministry has a space that is designed perfectly for them. Where kids can come and, and hear about Jesus and grow in their faith and, and be excited about being in church. And we don't need to be worried about the next rain forecast. We don't need to be worried about things being damaged in the basement. No, we should be known about the impact of the gospel that we can have on our surrounding community, on the schools, on our neighborhoods. It's time that we start wasting time cleaning up this building. It's time that we take the steps to changing the legacy, sealing up the building, and fixing this completely. Not too long after that conversation, we had uh, some contractors that came by the building. They agreed that the design of the building wasn't set up perfectly and, and gave us a quote of $25,000 to once and for all eliminate the leak problem that we have in this building. And I told Dad, let's do it. Challenge the church, let's do it. Let's build a new legacy. So we opened up a flood restoration fund. All the monies that are gonna be collected in this fund are gonna to go towards the restoration and prevention of flood damage. And so today, making this video to ask you a simple question. Will you join us in changing our legacy? Maybe you're a former member of Cap City Church living on the other side of the world. Would you consider joining us in changing our legacy? Maybe you're a parent of a current student here at Cap City Church. Would you consider changing the legacy of Cap City Church? Maybe you're a stranger and you're just on this video from our website and we're asking you, would you consider helping us change the legacy of Cap City Church? We're asking for you to give 100, 500, 1,000, or some other amount to help us reach our goal. Let's eliminate this water issue once and for all and begin to focus the ministry outside of these walls. That's what the church is for.